guys welcome back to a cleaning video i.e my podcast i'm gonna be doing a little q a today i asked over on my instagram stories if you guys had any questions for me and there were some fun ones that came in and some deep ones that came in and some like spill the tea ones that came in so stay tuned for that also it may be cringe but i'm gonna say it anyways if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you hit that red subscribe button followed by the bell for notifications that way you won't miss out on any of my uploads we have been super duper duper sick here it's been one person after another after another and so the house when mom gets sick and there's no one else around <laughs> Who else is gonna clean? Nobody. So the house is pretty disastrous today. So I figured if I'm if I got a lot of cleaning to do, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So hopefully you can get like a little bit of motivation to clean your own houses, or you could just turn this on and you could clean with me. Okay, so I asked over on my Instagram stories if you guys had any questions for me. I said I'm filming a voiceover today for YouTube and we'll be answering questions. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, my handle is just at katie.satilli. All right, first question. Have you always been brave and do you receive support or do you solely support you and the kids? Okay, so I'm gonna start with the second one. Yes, I do receive support. I do not have to do it all on my own, which is fan frickin-tastic. Second question is, have I always been brave? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I see myself as that. I mean, in some ways, yes, I am. And in some ways, I'm not. Uh, it's so interesting. It's an interesting question and I'm trying to think of how to answer. Do you see me laughing? I was laughing. I think I was laughing because it's just a funny situation. I'm over here cleaning like a crazy person and then I pan through the whole living room and you see my little sick child laying there on the couch. Poor kid. Okay, back to the question. Have I always been brave? I think the answer to that is no, I haven't. Like, I could think of so many times in my life where I have not been brave at all. I can think of times where I have been though. So I guess it depends on the situation. It depends on the year. It depends on a lot of things. I will tell a story though that popped in my head with this question. My mom sent me and my sister to like swim at the public swimming pool when we were kids. And she would watch from like the, I don't know, an area where the parents were. And I was a kid, you know? So I was like, I guess we were going on these diving boards over and over and you had to wait in line to get into the diving board. And <laughs> I guess some like high school boys came and like cut in line in front of me. And my mom was watching and she was like, oh, okay. And I guess I went up to them and I was like, excuse me, I was in line first and I went and walked right in front of them. <laughs> so I guess, I think I do have something in me that's a little feisty like that, a little fire in me. I'm not always that way though. Sometimes I let people walk all over me. So I think that's why it's like a complex question. <laughs> actually got Hudson sitting right next to me today. He's home from school. Do you want to say hi, Hudson? With your mouth, say hi. Hi. Say, I'm Hudson. I'm Hudson. How old are you now, Hudson? Six. Yeah. And why are you home and not at school? It's because I learned the bugs that are rations. Yeah. Is it getting better or worse? Or the better. same? Well, I mean, like, both. Yeah, better and worse. Yeah. I think you're right. Because, like, because, like sometimes when I'm not taking my medicine, it gets worse. Yeah. And, like, it gets better when I do, when I do take my medicine. Right, exactly. So we got to keep taking medicine. So Hudson was sick, like I said, and he ended up having to get on amoxicillin because he had a sinus infection. Turns out he's allergic to amoxicillin, so he is covered in hives, which is a huge bummer because there's only a couple days left of school. And it's a huge bummer because nobody wants to be covered in hives. 
So poor little guy. He gets to hang out and have quality time with mommy. And I was like, I got to do a voiceover. Can you sit with me? So he's watching me and laughing and he's being so quiet. Very impressed. Okay, next question has a few in one. So what is your favorite coffee drugstore recommendation for mascara and are you loving the Civic? Okay, so let's start off with my favorite coffee. My favorite coffee at home, I just drink Pete's coffee, like black drip coffee. Now, it's gonna be approaching warm weather, which it already is. I gotta pull out my Nespresso maker because I do tend to drink iced coffee, which I'm like, ooh, maybe I should do that today. Now I wanna do that today. Okay, but my favorite iced beverage, actually just my favorite drink in general from Starbucks would be an iced shaken espresso, okay? Write this down if you want a good one. Grande iced shaken espresso. So good. And you get two pumps sugar-free vanilla, which is zero calories, and then two pumps of white chocolate mocha. Oh my gosh, you guys, I swear to you, chef's kiss. All right, what is my drugstore recommendation for mascara? It is the Old Faithful. I've been using the same thing for years and years and years. I swear by it. I honestly don't even branch out, so maybe there's something better. Let me know down in the comments if you have a good one. But I just use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's about $10, $11 for a tube, and it lasts me about a month. I don't do my makeup every day. I love it because it's buildable. It doesn't make it like super clumpy. I don't know, but everyone has their preference. So let us know in the comments if you have a really good drugstore mascara because all of us are probably always on the lookout. Okay, last question from this friend was, are you loving the Civic? And yes, a thousand percent yes. I love my Civic so much. I'm still getting used to it. I feel like it's like a little futuristic car compared to my old Scion. Like <laughs> I was just used to that Scion. You know, I had never had any kind of those like rear backup camera thingies where you can like see on a little TV screen in front of you if there's somebody behind you. So that I didn't even use that thing for about a month or two. And then my friend Olga was like, why are you looking behind you like that? Like, just look in the little camera. And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just I've never I didn't grow up like that. I learned how to drive. A million years ago and I didn't have a little camera fancy camera I will say I love the gas mileage that is fantastic better than my scion was I love how it drives I uh, love all the buttons <laughs> I love that you just walk away and it automatically locks I still think that's really weird by the way or you walk up to it and it automatically unlocks that's weird too I'm confused by that but whatever I love it kids get out of school this coming Friday I believe and they'll be off for a couple months for summer and I'm really excited I feel like it's gonna be a nice break and we'll just be able to have like good quality time together we don't really have any plans for the summer just working I mean for me and then um, we are signed up for a couple different like programs hold on one second buddy and then um, we are, you guys know, we're like big pool people. So we'll definitely go into the pool, the beach, hanging out with family and friends. I'm not really sure what else. I kind of want to plan something, but I'm not really sure what to plan. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are doing for summer. I know a lot of moms watch my videos. So if your kids are out of school for the summer, let us know what you're doing, especially if it's like affordable ideas or like free ideas. That would be awesome too.
Hudson sitting here talking to me about the ants that we have in our house, and it's true. We have our pantry is like ant infested. I keep putting in like the work orders, and they come by. <laughs> and they spray well they've only sprayed once but you know they spray and then nothing changes and then i put in another work order and then it's just i don't know i'm not sure what to do let me know if you guys have any ideas but i basically have this huge bin of food sitting in the hallway because i have to take everything out of the pantry our food hasn't been in the pantry for weeks but there's still ants in there not sure what to do about that hmm Okay, next question. If it's not too personal, how are the beautiful babyly, babylies, babies, <laughs> babies handling the separation? So it is pretty personal and my kids ah. are my like top, top, top priority. And um, they are old enough to where a lot of their friend, well, the older ones, their friends have social media and so some of them watch me. Hi, by the way, if you're my friends or my kids' friends. <laughs> um, so I have to be, yeah, just careful, respectful, have good boundaries, all the things. But I will say they are doing well. So, I mean, that's not to say we don't have difficulties or hard moments or hard days or hard times. All of us, you know, it's like everyone. So... But yeah, I love to be open, but I also have to be very protective of my kids. I'm definitely a helicopter mom, so um, yeah. And I don't want to like be disrespectful of anybody in this situation. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm comfortable saying. <laughs> And then because the background of where I asked the question on my stories had flamingos on it, there were two questions about flamingos. Do you know why and when flamingos lose their pink is the first one. And then another person said, did you know there's a whole thing behind flamingos and how the mothers lose their color? Okay, so yes, I have heard of that. That's actually why I took this picture. This is a picture that I took at the zoo at some point, but I save it in my favorites because I I do like the story behind like flamingos and losing their pink and stuff like that so so I just googled it just so I could read it it's like literally two sentences so don't don't click out it just says as the flamingo uses up every ounce of energy from loving and caring for their chick its bright color fades as they become more drained but eventually the pink feathers return as their babies start to grow up and become more independent I know that for me I 1000% relate to this and you guys have probably even seen me go through this process like here on YouTube or on social media in general I think I'm getting my pink back personally I know it kind of sounds like so like if Fiona was here she'd be like that's cringe <laughs> it sounds cringe it does but it's true like dude you can see it in people's lives like so many people I mean I'm sure there's a few that don't lose their pink but dude I would say the majority of us do and I think it's normal and I think when you get your pink back maybe it's a different shade of pink than it was before but you still get it back you know what I mean but yeah so if you're a mom watching and you have really young babies or toddlers like dude don't trip 
the pink will come back, I swear. All right, so I'm heading into the boys' room and just gonna be fixing the beds. Um, I do wanna work on the boys' room. I wanna decorate it. There's not that much space to even decorate, but I do wanna get some things on the walls. I wanna put some shelves up. I know you can't really see because the door, but on the left side are all of Bentley's Lego creations and I really wanna have a place to like kind of showcase those. So I wanna get some shelves up on those walls and get them off of that thing so we can actually use that for i don't know things <laughs> whatever and then uh -huh. yes yes you can use that for yourself um but then on the right of the room there's some wall space so i want to put like a couple of posters or i don't know something like neon signs i don't know something cute I was looking at Timu, um, and then, yeah, it would be cute to get a rug in here too. I don't know. Let, let me know if you have any ideas. And then, and then for mine and Fiona's room, I still need to decorate that room too. Uh, I was thinking of getting like a mirror, little mirror on each side of the bed or like little cute lamps, like sconces or whatever. I don't like that word by the way, but like something cute, like to go on each of the nightstands, which those are technically... <laughs> shoe holders they're not nightstands whatever moving past it and then I need to get some um decoration for on the wall especially on the right you can't see it right now but there's like a like a decently sized wall that has space to be decorated so I need to work on that I feel like I finally got furniture and like the things I need to function up in the house and next will be like kind of decorating the house so stay tuned for that I am looking for affordable pieces, so I'll probably be doing some thrifting videos coming up. And then I am looking on Timu. They have some cute stuff, not everything, but there's a couple cute things there. Also in this, I was FaceTiming uh, my friend Caitlin. So if it looks like I'm laughing and talking, it's because I am. Um, I, I often talk on the phone now. Like my friend Olga came over the other night with her daughter and we were hanging out and she was like, don't you get lonely? And I'm like, nope, I don't. I just feel like I keep myself very busy. I have a amazing support system like my family and my friends i'm always on the phone or always hanging out with someone and if i'm not and i'm at home i'm enjoying like my moment of being alone like i don't mind being alone at the house
So it's been so interesting going from like the big house into this apartment because I it's it's such a trip. Hear me out. I'm sure someone will relate to this, but like a small space, I feel like you have to clean it frequently, but it doesn't take very long because it gets messy really fast, but then it gets clean really fast. But then when we lived in the house, you know, like a 2,400 square foot house, it takes forever to clean. And I feel like I cleaned less frequently because it didn't look bad if there's a couple things laying out here and there. But then when it was time to clean, it would take me an entire day to clean that house. And even then, sometimes it would be even more than an entire day, like a day and a half. Thanks for watching another video with me. If you guys made it all the way to the end, here's a big air hug from me. And make sure you leave your video requests down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Yeah.